Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. And keep in mind, this is going to be a general love reading. We're going to take a look at this person's current feelings for you. So some messages may or may not be for you. Okay, so let's get into this and see what this person's current feelings are. Your person, okay, they think you're soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Okay, they think you're their soulmate. <laughs> the dragonfly. Hmm. And I feel like they hope that you feel that way too. Okay. Photograph. They can't stop looking at your photos, Virgo. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. Let's see what other messages. Um, now this person could be born in the year of the dragon, or you could be as well. Um, okay. Religious factors, stay optimistic about your love life, express your love. So I feel like, I feel like your person feels that you guys do have some, um, blockages. You have a different belief system, perhaps. They think, you know, maybe you believe in God, they don't, or they do and you don't, or you have different religious beliefs, or you were raised under, um, like different, I want to say, um, there's like your influences. There's something, there's some obstacle, not obstacle. I don't like to use that word. It just takes a little bit of work to try to come together. So you guys could have like, um, like they know that maybe you live far away from each other or you have different um, cultural backgrounds, religious backgrounds or something like that. But I feel like this person is super optimistic about your relationship. Like they don't care. I feel like this person, your person, I want to say, despite your differences and your blockages, I mean, they see you as like, like a dragonfly, <laughs> like you are pretty amazing, pretty unique, pretty special. Um, even though you guys have these differences, they're very optimistic about this relationship with you. And um, I feel like, like they want to, or they are someone who might have in, in the past expressed like the romantic gestures to you or that at least they want to okay going forward so yeah but this is their current feels right now how what i feel like is their energy right now let's take a look at the tarot and see <clears throat> they feel like you guys are soulmates that you to um despite anything are meant to be together um or that you are the person you are right for them and i feel like this person misses you or they want to make new memories with you virgo okay let's see okay so yeah i mean you guys might be at a distance you have the queen of wands i feel like um they definitely are kind of standing at a crossroad here about you know they they know they need to make a decision about this relationship um and I feel like even with the way this person is holding this globe, there might be like it's a decision about relocating. Um, so we have Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy here. So you could, your person could be a fire sign. Um, but I see them kind of like, how do they make this move or which way, which path do they take? Um, it may not even be a, a long distance thing. It could have something also to do with like, your just your beliefs or your differences as far as um i'm hearing like someone might be super intuitive or very much into um it not be very religious but be more spiritual and while another person could be very religious you know what i mean so there's a little bit of like okay worldly views versus uh, a very like I don't know I can't get the word out but like very um, like I feel like religious views of some sort there's definitely this person I feel is standing here at like this crossroad like how do I how do I cross over is how I feel 
and learn and try to become. Okay, now we have Aries. Hmm. I feel like they want to know what you know. They want to learn more about what you know. And I feel like this person wants you to see them as someone who can be, um, I feel like very like stand up above board, kind of honest, you know what I mean? But I'm also picking up this really strange feeling <laughs> with this person. Um, I'm hearing they want to meet your kids. If you have kids also. If you have any children, if you don't, maybe your pets. They want to like meet your pets. <laughs> Let me see here. Yeah, I feel like this person has maybe already um, one or two kids or pets. Okay, yeah. You know, Virgo, I this person definitely feels like your person feels like you guys are a match. So we have like Libra Taurus. I feel like you've got this person's coming in with some kind of like love offer for you. Definitely. They are like super like you're it for them. You they are in love with you. They know that you guys are soulmates. They have to make this decision or they have to cross this mm -hmm. threshold. And they know that they have to, like they're standing at the cross, like which way do I go? They know that they they're making the plans for sure. <clears throat> I feel like this person wants to be like I'm hearing okay there's that you two song I will follow they will go wherever you want they will go wherever you go <laughs> they will follow you and they will learn whatever you want them to learn like your side of things you know what what your beliefs are um, because I feel like they're different and I mean that's pretty profound if somebody is willing to make grand or major changes in their life to be with the person that they love it's not changing they're not changing who they are but they're willing to live their life um i feel like to come into union with you whatever that takes for them there's a lot of passion here i mean this person gets super excited when they think about you and they I feel like with you, they see this potential for growth and, and major change and transition in the relationship. Like this person, I feel like they're coming to you. I don't know if you guys live at a distance. You could be like travel, have to travel by boat or across the water. Um, but I, f I feel like this person is making a decision is in this process of making decision to come towards you or and or, and, or to make this change so it's, it's not like subservient it's it, like i don't feel like it's that it's not that energy it's more like they just want to be with you and i feel like this person don't get me wrong both you and this person with the emperor and the empress seem very secure in yourselves but this is like a blending this is like a melding of a life together so whatever that means but it feels like this person has to be the one like they know that they have to they will i don't know if it's have to it's more like they will follow you they will like whatever you want however you want to live wherever you want to live however you want to you know your beliefs and things like that they're open they're willing to learn and make change Okay, so your person has no intention of letting you go. Um, could be Taurus energy, but they have no intention of letting you go. They ha they're not giving up on the idea of um, reconciliation. If you're in separation, this person is very, I want to say, they want long-term security with you. Absolutely. Like they see their future with you and only you. You are their soulmate. That is the Six of Cups is always the soulmate card. You are their person. You all have always been their person. And they have always known that. And they haven't really let anybody else in. Not to the to to affect their feelings the way you have. Okay. Um, and I feel like this person, they just see you are such a kind hearted person. You're very giving. You're very loving. You're very warm. 
just very sincere type of energy and they love that about you this person is very like protective of their own heart as well much like you so there's this there's a mirroring effect similarity yeah look so definitely five of pentacles i mean this person if you're struggling they want to struggle with you there's a there's a strong energy here of i feel like this person um they feel your pain so when you are sad they feel your sadness and they want to do something about it they want to help they want to take the lead even if they have to struggle with you they want to be the one to get you both through it they're willing they have that 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 sacrificial energy about them in a lot of ways whatever that means you know they don't want you to struggle alone they don't want you to be even financially struggling alone they want to contribute they want to help it's so funny because here's the lovers and it's funny because at first i was like soulmate this sounds like a twin flame so i mean this person i don't know if they even know what twin flame is they might just say soulmate because you know that's what the general population says not many people really understand the twin flame but this might be more of a twin flame but in a very positive kind of energy you know um a lot of lessons learned as always with the twin flame relationships but there is a little bit of a soulmate connection here as well as far as like the mirroring effect but it can be twin flame as well but i feel like this person is truly in love with you or at least just has a very deep loving loving feelings for you gemini energy here this person is pretty clear-minded about who you are and who you are to them there's definitely sacrificial energy here with this person i mean if you if you tell them to tattoo your name on their leg they would do it if you tell them like if you just make those suggestions you know if you tell them to shave their head they would probably do it i just feel like this person has like um they look at you all the time like they're always looking at you either your photographs or just they you catch them staring at you they're always looking at you while while i feel like you are always kind of like looking up to the angels and spirit this person's always just they have their eye on you all the time they try not to keep you out of their sight watching you looking at your pictures like their vision field is <laughs> strictly you you know unless they're they have other something else going on but it always defaults back to you and i feel like this person they definitely want to be skin to skin with you for sure and make love to you as much as possible like if they had a day or a week off they would just keep you in bed with them <laughs> and not get, just order food in <laughs> and watch tv watch movies and just love and play and have a good time together and just they want to soak up so much of your love and so much of your time and your energy and just feel you and be there and be in your presence as much as possible gosh Virgo. so i mean this person you know pretty crazy about you virgo okay hmm but they have a lot of regret and remorse right now as well now why is that there's a bit of sadness connected to this person i think they feel like you don't really love them or that you or you don't feel the same way as they do yeah they're not sure hmm Nine of cups or nine of ones with the five of cups. Somebody could be fifty nine years of age, or born in fifty fifty nine. This person is um. They feel a bit uncertain about how you feel about them. Things are a little bit inconsistent. They they feel like there's an inconsistency in the relationship whatever that might mean they feel like you have boundaries up or you have walls up and you do not want to um that you're not sure of them but they're but they're mirroring that energy 
they kind of, I get a sense that this person might also understand that you have had loss in your past or you've had loss, you know, yeah, in your life or you might be grieving a loss at this time. And they understand that and they also don't want to push or they understand that you um, might feel sad about something or that you've had struggle. They don't want to push. They don't want to, um, they want to give you the space to grieve or to go through or deal with your emotions and your feelings. Man, I feel like this person's really, like they really love you. And that's love. Like love is giving space. Love is giving time and energy and, and space is time. But they also have a little bit of doubt about whether you have any reciprocal feelings for them. They're not so sure, but they're hopeful and they're not going to, um, like this person tries to maintain a sense of positivity. Remember, they stay optimistic about whatever's influenced you in the past that led you to where you are now or whatever might have happened and whatever happened to them. This person keeps a positive mindset about you even when they feel like there's uncertainty or even when they feel like maybe you don't love them. Even at times when you've cut them off or when you've told them off <laughs> or when you've, um, you know, got up your nasty mouth <laughs> at times, I feel like um, they, do, they do question, though, the times when you have just maybe cut them off or gone ghost, they do question and it, I feel like it, it did hurt or it does hurt if you're currently doing that right now. Um, if you're going through something tumultuous emotionally and you have a, maybe a tendency to lash out a bit, um, you know, they prefer not to take it personally. They prefer to look at and say, Virgo must be feeling like really something's going on. Like they've, there's a, there's an intuitive understanding and compassion with this person. I know some of you might like be, I don't know who this is, but I sure hope that this is somebody new. And maybe it is, it could be. So keep that in mind, okay? This could be um, after you've met somebody new. So let's just, you know, finish the story here. I feel like this person, um, rather than lash back out at you or look at your words, they look deeper into your soul, into your feeling of question why, even though it would have hurt, to say certain things that you've said or you say to them they try to look at where it came from more than what was said and they don't own it because i feel like this person's very secure and they know who they are okay yeah so they prefer to sit here with patience they know that you guys will kind of blend your energies again going forward, but I feel like they're being very patient and trying to be with temperance, just calm, not react. They're tempering themselves. I feel like this person knows that you're having some kind of emotional struggle or that you struggle with some kind of sadness or something. And maybe in order to protect your feelings, when you're feeling hurt or sad, you get angry and they understand that. And yet they still love you. And they're not giving up on you. And this person, like they're not gone. If they, if they, if it feels like they're gone, if you guys are in separation, you know, if you already know them, um, they're not really gone. They're just giving you space. And if you don't know this person, yeah. So that would be like they're temp. You guys are temporarily separated. Um, and if you, if this is somebody new that you meet in the rent, rest of August into September, it's going to be the same energy. Something might occur, and then you guys kind of take. You kind of like temporarily separate a little bit, but they won't be gone, okay? So this is kind of an energy with this person, like they want to give you, they want to give you that emotional space. They definitely don't want to be a target for any kind of anger or lashing out or sarcasm or anything or um, because that will just make the relationship worse. They just want to, they're, they're backing off or they will be backing off to 
just give you time to heal or to sort some things out or however you're feeling. Even if you feel like you're angry with them, they still want to give that space and just kind of, yeah, let everything come to a peaceful place. Let everything calm down. Get into like this, like there's a retreating energy here. They, they, this person just does not like any kind of confrontation. Um, they don't feel it's healthy for your relationship. Um, they don't necessarily feel like bickering is unhealthy, but like huge confrontation. Um, things that can be destructive to the relationship. This person has a tendency to just kind of walk away or, you know, take the phone off the hook, so quote unquote, <laughs> just kind of back off. Um, they, they go to get to their peaceful place um, because they don't, they love you. They, they don't want to fight back with you. They don't want to get into the ring with you. Not because they feel like you'd win, <laughs> but because they love you and they don't want to hurt you. They don't want to punch back because they love you. Um, this person does not believe fighting with the one they love is a sign of, of loving them. They believe that not fighting with the one they love and giving them space and time and peace and not getting into the ring with them is loving them. Okay, yeah. And for them, it's about doing the right thing. I feel like this person wants to do right by you. This is how they do it. This is how they take care of you. This person is, it feels like with justice card, that's Libra energy, even has Sagittarius. Here, I feel like this person is, um, they're all about like win-win solutions here. This person does not want to contribute to any kind of struggle that you might have in your life, right? They have a, I, I don't know, this is super, I don't know if this person's got toxic positivity or what, but they are super, super positive about you. Uh, like this is someone who's just not going to give up and is going to stand by you with justice here and will always be fair and do the right thing when it comes to you. I know some of you are going to be like, oh, it's a simp. Well, I don't think so. I don't see this person being that way at all. I feel like this is a very brave, strong type of person that isn't afraid to, um, that isn't someone who will give up. <sighs> You're kidding. That's confirmation. There you go. There's a strength card. Yeah. They're, this person, they are not, um, they don't come across to me as someone who's weak at all. Very strong. A strong love. Very strong love. Leo energy here. I mean, this. I feel like this person, they understand self-love. They understand unconditional love. And they understand the courage to love. It takes, it takes a lot of courage to love. It's not for the weak. And for someone to keep loving and being compassionate towards another person, no matter what, even through the complex of the relationship, the complexities of the relationship, to still be strong enough to love that person takes extreme power. <laughs> and just, that's love. Love is strength. Love is courage. And I feel like, if Virgo, if you have like, like if you guys have arguments at times, um, this person could work in a dental office also, or somebody could. Um, if you have arguments at times, or like the mouths are going, <laughs> you know, the strength card, it's like the angel is here to just kind of like keep the arguments down to a minimum. I feel like this person has like this type of angel energy around them as well, that they don't, um, they want to talk, they want to communicate, they don't want to, they don't want to get into like um, a verbal match or a, a verbal match of wits. Is that the word? They don't want to get into like a whole tit for tat kind of thing. They just want to talk. They want you to talk to them. They want you to just open up and freely express your feelings. 
despite how you might feel like they will take them it doesn't matter it's just about they don't want you to stifle you keep anything inside and then have it blow up later this person they are committed to you 100 percent. their heart is committed to you 100 percent. like i said this is somebody who will you know follow you And when you want to get to a place where you, I'm hearing, don't want to be single anymore, um, they will, they want that too. If you are single, if you guys aren't really, maybe you're just friends. It could be a situation like that. But this person is definitely single. And they're single and they're committed to you. <laughs> I mean, that is such devotion. They're completely devoted. 100% devoted to you and only you, no matter what. Um, you might think that they're messing around. I don't see that at all. I feel like this person is just, there's a king of swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this person is just, they're up in their head. When it comes to other people, they're doing business. They're working. They're talking to other people. It's strictly business for them with others with other singles other people that they talk to it's strictly business it's work related it's career it's stuff like that if there's another you know if they are uh, the masculine and there's um, a feminine it's strictly business and vice versa there's communication yeah they talk to other people but there's nothing romantic not even the higher font is romantic they're completely in their heart committed to you and yeah like they are absolutely they have full clarity they're fully clear about that there's no guess there's no guessing game with them like i don't know virgo maybe you don't feel you don't know or you don't understand they just don't understand how you feel about them they're not sure if you feel the same way they are very sure how they feel about you though how much they love you and whatever you're going through they want to be there for you but how are you feeling so you look like you have some a um, little bit of aggression connected to you with the nine of cups like i feel like you virgo want like you go after trying to get your your emotional needs met here but you seem to be you have a little bit of um Yes, is it aggression? I mean, do you want this person? To, I don't understand what's going on here. What is this energy? Oh, <laughs> okay. Virgo, you want it now. And this person is not moving very quickly. <laughs> I feel like you might be kind of angry at them. Or maybe just impatient the knight of swords i'm going to say that i don't know that you're angry but the knight of swords is very impatient the knight of swords does not wait you want this person to speed it up <laughs> you want them to speed it up they are so slow you feel like they are so slow they may not be we you know we don't know but you feel like i mean you could have just or you might be that way if you meet them going forward like your energy i see is kind of like no i want this now no come on hurry up it's all we've we've been dating for a week when are you going to commit like <laughs> i'm just kidding Virgo. i'm not making fun of you but i do feel like you're in a rush to get to the nine of cups like you're in a rush to kind of get to the finish line or you know get your wishes and having these wishes come true you know having these um <laughs> complete contentment virgo's like come on let's go make that lifestyle change come on come on come on come on and they're they're doing it you know they will be it's just they think that i'm gonna tell you why they feel like you might not um why you might not okay hold on they think you don't love them because you're not being patient and you're not willing to wait or to just take your time. Yeah, I saw this at first and then I started shuffling again and then it flipped right back out to Ten of Swords. 
This person thinks that if you, they think that you're going to leave them right away if you if they don't hurry it up and that you're just going to betray them that's why they're uncertain they think you're more more interested in getting to the finish line than you are taking the time and enjoying the time together so they believe that you're going to leave them that's where that uncertainty is even though they're still here even though they love you and they're not going to give up on you and they're never going to give up on you and they they truly do are like they are like they have a heart for you heart 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 they they think that you're in such a rush just to secure the relationship that you don't even know them or that you aren't really there for them that might not be true virgo okay so don't get your panties in a bunch that might not be true but that's how i feel they are seeing it that you're not really interested in them you're just interested in the relationship you know you're interested in having the house built rather than what's inside the house you know and that you won't stick around even though i feel like this person they truly have a heart for you they are truly interested in you what do they love about you virgo gosh right like i said your sincerity your nurturing your kindness all these wonderful beautiful traits that you have how healing you are how supportive you are not just to them but to other people and family members and friends and you know that energy that you give out they do feel like you have a little bit of a and i can't <laughs> i have to now say it with this card a little bit of like rope you have some like a robotic heart <laughs> mr and mrs roboto roboto a little bit of that um which i don't really know what that means maybe a lack of heart because there is like you keep your emotions deep inside but you are also someone who is very nurturing you have a service kind of thing about you i mean they love that you give back they love that you have that compassion and that tolerance and empathy they see it in you absolutely and that's a rare thing to see nowadays they don't i don't feel like this person often sees that deeply in others but they see it in you and that is right there why they love you that right there is what they love about you that right there is why they are not giving up on you because that's a rare thing to have a compassionate loving empathetic heart for others that's all they need it has nothing to do with what kind of job you have who you are in society um, how many cats you have, <laughs> where you live, how you look. Those are all very superficial things. This is about your character. And your character, what they see, is this beautiful heart. Chew. Chew, 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 chew. So, yeah, I mean, Virgo. <clears throat> There's the judgment card. So there's definitely a purpose to this relationship. Somebody's going to waken up soon about this, maybe, hopefully, or there, this will all come to the surface. This awakening about this, the love here, I feel like maybe more so for you, the understanding, you know, love, um, you know, we've got that love where we're up in our ego about love and then we've got that true love and that's the scary that's the scary love where we're vulnerable and we're compassionate with others and and we could get hurt and there's that risk. That's the love. That's the love. The love love. That's not the ego love. That's not the what have you done for me lately love. <laughs> you know? That's the agape love. You know, that's the the Christ love. That's the forgiveness the healing all of that you know i feel like that's what the lesson here to be learned is that uh that agape love that nobody's perfect but i love you anyway or that even if i'm angry with you i, I never stop loving you that kind of energy so that's whew. that's something that's a message 
that's a message okay let me see what the message is we get another message of love here okay so there might be an addiction affecting this relationship as well somebody needs to look at their addiction okay we also have intuition so you already know the answer that you seek Okay, so this person is unavailable to give you all you deserve at this time. And I think I explained that why is because, um, okay, maybe they have an addiction. There's an issue going on with them. But I also feel like perhaps they're unavailable or will become unavailable because they don't know what to do. Um, all they can do is just give you some space and time and sort out something that you might be going through. September into August, or August into September. I make my years go backwards. Okay, and this one just flew out. So this is past life love. Okay, so this still could be somebody new, but this is a repeat where it's like a past life situation. You know, when you meet somebody new and there's that, I feel like you know this person but it's not, you've never been with them before. How can I say this? There's getting a second shot, a second shot or a second chance to do better. And I feel like this person, there's a similarity. You've known them before. You've dealt with this person before with this past life stuff. You've dealt with this energy before. You've dealt with this intense connection before. And them too. And there's there's lessons here. Huge lessons. And so what is that lesson? It's like open up your heart. Listen to your heart when he's calling for you. Listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I don't know where you're going. I don't know where you've been. Listen to your heart. Before. I forget the rest of the words. Sing it. Finish it. Okay. All right. Apologies are needed. Kiss and make up. Apologies are needed. Not just on one side, but also on the other side. It has to be... I don't feel like this is a one-sided thing. That's what I'm going to say. And it's not about blame. But I don't feel like this is going to be... I feel like two people reacting to each other. I feel like one person gets angry and another person runs away. And the person who is taking their anger out on the other person needs to apologize for that. And the other person who's running away from confrontation and not trying to engage or not coming back in a timely fashion to make up or work it out needs to apologize for ghosting okay there you go ghosted or blocked so that energy something here playing out for sure but apologies yep no contact so apology will come in about that there will be some healing happening with this relationship especially going into um you know we're going into the fall season so the season is changing for sure Okay, let's see what else, Virgo. Okay. Hmm. So fi there's a recovery of financial loss that's going to be happening. I feel like we just totally shifted gears here. Go with kindness, I'm hearing. Go with kindness, Virgo. Fight back if you must, but don't fight. Fight back by not fighting. Fight back by using kindness. Okay, so you got the past returning for sure, and things are going to start heating up. Um, I feel like there's going to be a reconciliation, and there's going to be healing to this. I don't feel like this person is ever giving up on you, so I feel like if you need that security to understand that that this person, like they do have, I, I don't know how many more times I can explain it. They have, they have such a heart for you, and it's deep. And I think it's just a matter of patience, needing to be patient, um, needing to be understanding, 
um, compassionate and loving each other um, and not, you know, stamping the foot and saying, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I think this needs to be more, more understood at, at a much higher level, this relationship. Okay. So as far as their feelings go, Virgo, my God, totally in love with you. I mean, this person will follow you anywhere and do anything. Okay. So if you're the pig, you're the tiger. All right, we're not going to fish. Year of the rooster, year of the horse, year of the goat, year of the pig again. So two pigs, perhaps. Year of the monkey and two horses. Okay, don't sweat it. If it's not you, don't worry about it. Doesn't mean it's not your message. All right. What other messages for Virgo? Okay. So we have Joanne, Joseph, Jolene, George, <clears throat> it's a J-O, someone might call somebody a J-O, like you're a real J-O, <laughs> Jax, or Jackson, Jack, um, somebody likes jazz, I'm hearing. We have the letter S, we have a Z, we have A. Okay, I'm picking up Sarah. Or, yeah, S-A-R, Sarah, Sarah. Uh, someone's a sergeant, police, or military, or I don't know, wherever you could be a sergeant. Someone likes Beatles. <laughs> Okay, we have the letter P. Um, so, hold on. Someone's born in 1977. Um, oh, someone's got a very PG personality. <laughs> very PG. <laughs> Someone needs parental guidance. All right, we have Pete also. Picking up Pete. Peter. Peters. All right, so picking up um, September 5th the 6th, the 10th, I'm picking up 1977, Okay, letter C. I always get a C. Christina, Carol, Carl, Carla, Kelly, Kim. Park, someone at a park, reading a book, someone's at a park reading a book, I see a park, yep, under a tree, or sitting on a bench, reading, doing something with books, studying, beautiful day, oh my goodness, the weather is just beautiful. Got some planetary action coming up soon. Some really strange weather patterns happening. Kate or Catherine or Kathleen? Kathy? September 8th. Did I mention that? I just heard that again. Ricky or Richard or Ricardo. Okay, you guys, I have a special treat for you next week. 
cannot wait to bring it. Okay, PC. Somebody has an old PC. Use this like an old PC, right? Not like um, like they have the like a desktop PC. You know, like they get the whole the big machine underneath the, the table. Maybe somebody works in computers where there's like a whole bunch of servers, something like that. You know, um, they don't. It's not a it's not a Mac or anything like that. It's it's like the with the big computer box. <laughs> Maybe it's a gaming thing i don't know somebody might be like rpg or gaming does gaming okay i'm just hearing chris strong chris i know i said christina but i'm hearing chris and something to do with a frog i don't know if somebody likes toads or frogs i just heard <laughs> I'm just seeing frogs or somebody sees a frog. Yeah, okay, something to do with frogs. All right, let's see. All right, Aquarius, Leo, Gemini, Taurus. Okay, someone is 61, someone is 23 or 32. Um, number 1710, number 2400. All right, so someone is 50, someone's born in 76. Someone, we've got August birthdays. August 28th, August 27th, August 24th, August 23rd. Someone is 47. Someone is, uh, oh, okay, they're giving me 7682. Also 5032 and 274. And we have Cancer, twice, another Virgo, and Leo. And also, one more roll, another Vir Virgo again, Virgo twice, a Scorpio, and a Cancer. Okay, so Virgo three times. You could be dealing with one of those signs. This could be your person, or so you could be meeting them very soon. This is all about love. All right, let's get your charm, and then we'll be done. What the heck's this? Oh, wow. That's a new one. All right, I'm just going to say it. Go, Eagles! <laughs> so we got an eagle here, you guys. Strong attachment to either the Eagles. Uh, it could be a sports team for some of you. Or an, just an attachment to an American Eagle. Or something. To, it could be clothing. Somebody wears American Eagle. Or an attachment to just an eagle. You might live somewhere where there's eagles. You see them. Or you're watching something on TV. Like an eagle's nest. Or something to do with an eagle. Okay. I'll leave that there. One more. Oh, look. You've got the, um, the four-leaf clover again. You had that yesterday. That's crazy. So, definitely a connection to Ireland or... Um, a lucky four-leaf clover somebody might have that somewhere on their body or they they wear uh, a charm or a necklace or something with to do with like a four-leaf clover it's not shamrock wait no it's not shamrock it's a four-leaf clover so there's definitely going to be luck and i'm i'm really hoping for me that that's good luck to the eagles this year philadelphia eagles you know that they make it to the super bowl that they win a super bowl that would be fantastic or even just like philly the phillies holla <laughs> that's just me you know but anyway um yeah i'm gonna leave your reading there i hope that that was insightful for you guys tomorrow i'm gonna be back here with your weekend reading so yeah, go ahead and click the link in the description box if you uh, need a personal reading, want to join my OnlyFans, all that great stuff. And thank you everyone for the coffee donations. Super, super awesome. Someone made another one yesterday and I'm just like astounded. <laughs> like coffee for a year. And also don't forget, please do donate to my two children's foundations, the Our Rescue, which is the linked 
it's linked here under the video, and or my personal fundraiser, Rescue Kids Now. Link is in the description box. All right, you guys, have a great night. Love each other. Love yourselves. Be happy. Make good choices. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.